Last time you came on, predicted hydrogen cars. Yeah. You predict that happening. Yeah. You made a lot off the stock. Um, yeah. Where do you see the future of flying? Do you, do you see planes incorporating oh, yeah. that type of technology? I got in on Rolls Royce on the stock market when it was only a dollar and 10 cent. Now it's $7 and 35 cents. Wow. And why? Because as soon as they announced their first hydrogen engine, which flew a jet across the country and worked phenomenally, and now they're going to go into hydrogen jet engine production. And the majority of the jets and the new, the new jets are coming out, commercial use, are going to convert over to hydrogen engines because it's more efficient. It saves a lot of money and you can fly further and it's clean, mm. very clean. There's no, um, the only thing you get from a hydrogen powered jet engine is uh, the mist is actually just water. <laughs> yeah. So it's very, very clean. Great for the environment. And that's where everything is going to go. Man. Our FP&L, Florida Power and Light, our electric company for the state of Florida, mm. they converted to hydrogen. Oh, wow. So all of our energy and our power is coming from hydrogen generation in the state of Florida. That's nice, man, because my yeah. energy bills up here have been crazy yeah. lately. <laughs> Mines are going down like you wouldn't believe. And I was shocked because I wouldn't believe that they would actually save us money. Yeah. I came to, you know, you think like these people aren't going to try to cut our bill. They cut my, my bill is down by at least 25%. Wow. Based on houses that I lived in when we were on pure fuel production and coal uh, in, in Weston, uh, that was 2004 through, through 2000, 2010, my electric bill in a 5,000 square foot house is on average about $1,400 a month in the summer. Mm. Now in the summer, my electric bill on a house almost twice that size is only about $600. Damn. So this is amazing. That's the future right there. Yeah. So that might even be better than solar. I believe it is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, solar is monitored. So solar panels don't give you 100% output. So when you buy solar panels for your house, mm -hmm. there's a regulation on how much energy that the solar panel can actually absorb and put out. Oh, really? So they've limited solar panels only about 15% efficiency, mm. not 100% efficiency. And if you that. have a panel higher than that, it's illegal. Uh, and so nobody really has panels that really produce or convert 100% of the light energy. And whatever extra is left over, they put it back into the grid so someone else can use it and they give you a little discount. So- I'd rather go with hydrogen. Yeah. I yeah. saw you just had a numerology expert on your show. Yeah. Do you believe in that stuff? Numerology? I do believe in it. Yeah, yeah. King Simon. Shout out to King Simon. King Simon Productions. Yeah, he's great, man. He's it's amazing. interesting stuff, right? Yeah, it seems it really to is. line up. Like it's yeah. At first, I was really skeptical. Mm -hmm. And then I had a couple of them on the show. And I'm like, a lot of what you're saying, you don't even know me. And you're yeah. talking about my life. It's you can read somebody head to toe with their, with their numbers. You know, my life path number, which is based on your date of birth and how they break it down and they calculate it. My life path numbers are 22, which is a master builder number, mm. um, which is pretty cool because I have built a lot of things and I have worked on a lot of huge, huge projects. Um, I'm probably one of the first people in my family to build a business and several businesses that became very successful. So it kind of aligns with who I am in that me method in that way. My, my um, you know, I'm born on the 4th, the mm -hmm. 4th of September. And so that four also has a, a particular type of incredible alignment, but it can go good or it can go bad. And what I like about King Simon, he talks about how the numbers can guide you and allow you to see the positivity, but also see where you can have some negativity so that you can adjust your life accordingly to avoid as much negativity as possible. Mm, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think everything in the universe can be explained with numbers? I think the universe, well, my opinion is that the actual... Um, the, the universal voice or the, the communication that's being propagated through this universe. I think that we're living inside of uh, something that's a frequency or a cymatic vibration, which is coming from the voice of the creator. And I believe that that is mathematics. Mm. The universal um, voice, the, you know, in the beginning was the word and the word was God. I believe that word is a frequency. Right now we're speaking to each other. Mm -hmm. We're creating a cymatic vibration with our vocal box, which emanates over the atmosphere. And then our ear takes it in and the cochlea in our ear decodes that vibration, sends, sends it to the brain and the brain goes, oh, this is what this means. Uh, but I think that not only can you get a uh, conversation that way, you can create reality that way as well. And I, I believe that as part of, part of the emanation of existence in the universe, everything can be explained by mathematics. Yeah. And you can converse telepathically, right? You just did a video on this. Yeah. Telepathically. Now, Scientists just did this experiment. Anyone could Google this and look it up. They were able to connect two individual people and have them telepathically communicate with each other. They did it once when they were awake. They also did it when they were sleeping. Whoa. Yeah. So they were able to have someone visit somebody else in their own dream through this what? new technology. It's amazing. Now, this is a natural, I feel a natural innate ability for everyone 
But I believe that we've gotten away from it because we've been disconnected from a lot of DNA in our body. They call it junk DNA, but it's real powerful DNA that the nodes have been disconnected. They discovered a new uh, hominid just recently. I actually, the actual new name that this one gentleman gave it slips my mind at this exact moment, but it was about 1,700 cc's brain capacity. Hmm. The human being, our, us, were about 1,300. Wow. To give you an example, this brain was massive, okay? And what does that mean? It means that our ancestors may not have been as dumb as we're trying to play them out to be cavemen. I believe that they may have been smarter than us intellectually and spiritually, but not technologically. Mm. Okay? They were more in tune with nature and themselves. But they found that we have billions of magnetite crystals in our brains right now today, us. Mm. But we can't sense Earth's magnetic field. But if I, they took a human being, put him in a room with a huge bar magnet, and put an EEG cap on their head connected to a computer and move that magnet around. And guess what? The magnetite crystals oriented themselves to the field. So we can detect the magnetic field. We just aren't aware of it. Just like we have psychic abilities and intuition and all these other incredible things. We're just not fully aware of it. Some people are more sensitive to it and we call them psychics and witches right. and everything else. But they're just tapping into their natural born gifts. Mm. And we're all given. So we all have that ability? We all have that ability, yeah. What do you think causes it to shut off in certain people? I believe that the genetic modifications of mankind allowed it to be shut off. Mm. I personally believe that there was a genetic tinkering in human beings, which can be found in the genetic code, dealing with chromosome number two, being fused together. That's a genetic mutation, right? Uh, the telomere caps put it, being put on each end. Um, and this disconnected DNA just doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of what biologists and geneticists call artificial mutations in the human genome. That term artificial mutation means it wasn't through natural evolution. So who did it and why? Mm. So I think that in some ways we were genetically tinkered with to disconnect us from realizing our higher selves and tapping into that, those natural gifts that we're born with in order to dominate and control us. Wherever you guys are watching this show, I would truly appreciate it if you follow or subscribe. It helps a lot with the algorithm. It helps us get bigger and better guests and it helps us grow the team. Truly means a lot. Thank you guys for supporting and here's the episode.